Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. One of the questions that continues to loom large in the thinking of many Americans is, what's the Trump administration's relationship to Israel going to be? And I think uh, we have only to take a look at uh, the statements that President-elect Trump has made himself, his advisors, his uh, vice presidential candidate. For example, Jason Greenblatt, who has been an advisor for President-elect Trump for 20 years, especially with regard to Middle Eastern affairs, says this. He says, Trump does not believe Israeli settlements, Israeli settlements in Judea and Samaria are an obstacle to peace. Now, the Obama administration has held this up as the major factor that prohibits a uh, Palestinian-Israeli peace agreement. That's just not the case. The, there is no peace in Israel uh, between the Palestinians and Israel because the Palestinians don't want it. They don't want it. They want a one-state solution, Palestinian state, that totally replaces the state of Israel, the modern state of Israel. Uh, President-elect Trump has said that he is going to move the American embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. He's committed himself to that. Uh, there's a law, 1995 law, that uh, calls for that, but presidents ever since that was enacted have waived that. President Obama just waived it uh, last week. President Trump said he will institute the law. Uh, <clears throat> Um, President Trump, uh, President-elect Trump has said that uh, the Iran deal is a disastrous deal, not only because of what it does for the United States and the world, but especially for Israel, as Iran, Iran has gone on record time and time again saying that Israel will be wiped off the map. Uh, Iran will be dealt with uh, in the Trump administration, we can be sure of that. Um, President Trump, President-elect Trump has said the UN, the UN is not a friend of democracy, it's not a friend of freedom, it's not a friend even to the United States, and it's surely not a friend to Israel. All the resolutions that have been made inordinately come against Israel. Uh, Trump has said that the uh, issue of the Palestinian state uh, will never come about unless the Palestinians recognize that it's a Jewish state and that it's here to stay. <clears throat> uh, Trump has said, said this, he says, I love and respect Israel and its citizens. I look forward to strengthening the unbreakable bond between our two great peoples. I know well that Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East and that it's the only one that defends human rights and that it is a ray of hope for many people. That's President-elect Trump's state with regarding that. His advisors have stated that the administration will require the Justice Department to look into the BDS movement on secular campus, boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement that is basically anti-Semitic to the core. <clears throat> Justice Department will be required to look into that. And then, of course, I think it's very significant that we take a look at his vice presidential candidate, Mike Pence. Mike Pence said this. He said, let me say emphatically, like the, over, the, like the overwhelming majority of my constituents in the Indiana, the Hoosiers, my Christian faith compels me. My Christian faith compels me to, ch to cherish the state of Israel. Our Vice President-elect, Mike Pence. My Christian faith compels me to cherish the state of Israel. Gary Bauer has said, America's millions of Christian Zionists Look forward to the working with the new administration and Congress who strengthen the U.S.-Israel alliance and to defend Judeo-Christian civilization. You know, as I read that, I'm reminded of the statement made in Genesis chapter 12 and verse 3, where God makes a covenant with Abraham and his descendants, 
And he says, I'll make you a great nation. I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse those who curse you. It appears to me that the Trump administration desires to bless Israel. And if that indeed is the case, that administration will be blessed. And we, the nation governed by the Trump administration, will likewise be blessed. That promise is as valid today as the day it was given. God says to Abraham and his descendants, I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. And that's the truth.